Have you ever wondered what different string tension really makes? I know I certainly have. So I've strung up two of the same rackets, one at 70 pounds, one at 30, and we're gonna give it a go and see what the real difference is. So I've just come off court after trying a racket strung at 70 pounds and a racket strung at 30. I have to say, I was amazed. The difference is remarkable. With the 30, you think it'd be like a trampoline and, and therefore you'd have no control. Well, it's actually not the case. I think because the ball's staying on the string so much longer, what you're getting is loads more spin. I mean, you, you're not gonna want, you're not gonna want to take a big swing back and, and wallop it because you're gonna lose all that control. That ball's going flying but you are going to be able to kick serves in really easy. You're going to be able to control the ball really nicely, just really, just with, without much swing, punching the ball, pushing it back. Actually, really nice to an extent. The 70, it really is, people talk about hitting with a plank of wood. I mean, it, it, this, is, this is what it feels like, plank of wood. It is so, so difficult to control. I think I remember hearing that Mark Philippoussis was stringing his racket at 80. I think there were players on the tour that the same. I have no idea how they generate any spin. It feels like such hard work. I won't be playing with a, with a string that tight again, but I am thinking that maybe then I'm gonna string something up at 35, 40, uh, and see how it goes. It did feel really nice, really, really easy. Give it a try, it's worth it, and it does make a big difference. <laughs> 